Fusil Mohamed Sharaf with you. Uh, our subject today um, it's about uh, thermophysical properties for uh, if some ferules. Um, it's about uh, ferule uh, 32 uh, and 125 and 410 A. Uh, you have to assign your folder, copy your model after download and extracting, copy your model into your uh, main working folder okay and uh, uh, go to your full destination folder from here okay open MATLAB first and then you have to ask, go to your folder from this path and then open it okay and uh, sort by name and group by type so you will organize everything you will find your model here so you, you just double clicking here or drag and drop Okay, this is our main model. It's about uh, thermophysical properties for uh, some ferions. Um, we need to discover uh, what is your uh, uh, in Salby, what is your uh, uh, density, specific volume, internal energy, specific entropy, and um, capacities for constant and pressure. Uh, for volume, uh, constant volume and pressure, uh, thermal conductivity, dynamic viscosity, uh, and so on. And uh, also, we need to discover superheat correlations or relations uh, between uh, uh, data and, uh, to each other. Uh, so we we have uh, uh, R32, uh, difluoromethane, uh, and we have R125. It's uh, pentafluoroethane and uh, R410 is actually a combination between 50% of the first uh, working fluid and 50% for the second working fluid. So it is hard to uh, uh, find this uh, available on the website and therefore you have to uh, uh, construct it by yourself. Uh, anyway, it is uh, already done here. So you can, all you have to do is to choose uh, which working fluid you are going to deal with. So suppose I need to uh, work with R32, hit apply, and going inside, saving, okay, and uh, going here, okay. We are dealing with this one, okay. So all you have to do is double clicking here for the second sub menu, and you can assign saturation at, because this is a temperature increment. It's a saturated uh, temperature uh, increment, so you can assign your saturated temperature. This is your average. It is uh, or range. I'm sorry. This is your range. It's from uh, minus 130 up to uh, 78. Um, so suppose I need to discover uh, 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, hit apply, and this menu is for uh, superheat superheat uh, calculation or superheat calculator so you can choose between uh, if you choose uh, um, if you try to choose uh, all you will get nothing or you, you have to choose between just two uh, parameters only two parameters temperature and insulby uh, temperature and entropy pressure and insulby and so on it's up to you uh, suppose I need to discover, uh, uh, for example, pressure and entropy correlation. So if you choose pressure and entropy, you will get results for temperature and entropy, uh, and, and so on. Uh, for pressure, suppose I need to discover uh, pressure uh, 20 bars and entropy. Okay, that, let's go for uh, entropy, uh, maybe... Uh, two for example okay there is no there is no effect for uh, this value uh, temperature and and survey because uh, we checked these boxes hit apply and go inside and discover uh, our results okay uh, okay uh, this model is quite interesting because you can uh, this is your data stored here your data all of your data are stored here, so you can uh, double clicking, for example. This is pressure, so this is temperature uh, breakpoints, and this is your uh, uh, table data. You can copy it, Control C, and go here, outside here, in MATLAB workspace, 
and you can uh, say pressure equal control V and uh, enter you will find your data okay so you can plot it you can this is pressure variation you can use it you can uh, copy it and and so on um, clear and CLC okay let's go inside again okay so we have uh, liquid uh, results and we have uh, vapor results so we have this is F means fluid or liquid and we have here gas saturated vapor and saturated uh, uh, gas let's hit run and see okay and we have to wait a little bit okay therefore under our specification saturation temperature 50 degrees lizards we have uh, 31 pressure uh, density uh, internal energy enthalpy specific and solid specific entropy and for liquid of course and we have here a specific volume uh, specific heat capacity for volume constant volume constant pressure this is um, a specific volume and uh, we have uh, uh, dynamic viscosity dynamic viscosity and um, semiconductive and the same for um, uh, vapor uh, or saturated vapor line uh, what is quite good for this one is you can copy this and use it in your uh, in your models you can copy the correlation you can make your correlations it's up to you okay let's go here and we have here superheat region okay this is our superheat so based on uh, pressure and entropy we can uh, discover temperature and uh, enthalpy at a specific region here so and the same for the rest okay let's go for another one let's go we can we have to check this for example r410 hit apply going inside and let's go here okay okay we can we just double clicking here we assign temperature okay Let's go for, um, for example, uh, a temperature and uh, entropy, for example. Let's go for uh, temperature and entropy, maybe temperature, superheat temperature, I think, 50 degrees Celsius, and entropy little b2, for example. There's no effect for pressure and entropy, okay? And we can go inside here, and we can discover our results, saving. Hit apply so we need pressure okay and enthalpy because we have uh, temperature and entropy so we need, this is your enthalpy and this is your uh, pressure suppose I check this one suppose I um, let's go here I checked all parameters if you go inside there is no solution there is no solution you have to choose only two parameters okay suppose I need uh, a temperature and temperature so I will uncheck enthalpy and entropy and uh, let's hit apply and see okay F for temperature and pressure you will get your uh, uh, enthalpy and a specific entropy at, uh, at this main point also you can discover saturated liquid line saturated vapor line you can go here uh, for example you can enter your results for this one, you can enter it as a matrix, for example. Suppose I need from uh, 1, step 1, up to 50 degree. Okay. So, this is so you can uh, get your results for Weber and uh, Liquid. But I need to send my uh, my data to Workspace. Suppose I, I, I need to add this one to MATLAB Workspace. Let's go here. For example, uh, density. Let's go for density. I will connect this. Double clicking. I will call it row, and let it be array. Okay. And uh, hit apply. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I have to uh, not to file. I need to sync for workspace. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will remove this one. Okay, I will call it row for example. 
and let it be array structure and hit apply and hit run and see okay let's go outside here in MATLAB workspace so this is our results 50 points you you can discover it based on your variation and you can draw it okay this is your variation of uh, density versus temperature variation and you can draw your correlation and do what you would like finally i would like to thank you very much for your interest in our model don't forget to like share and subscribe uh, thank you very much